too. Hi, oh, it started. <laughs> Sorry, I just checked my watch. I wanted to wait a few minutes because Chris Lay is doing a live at the same time and I don't like to step on other people's lives, but I don't know. People who watch this might not watch this anyway. Okay, so um, today I've got all kinds of fun things to tell you about. Uh, still gonna keep it short. First of all, I have to show you this because I've got to, I've got to finish it. Um, pure cacao fruit. I got this from Blue Stripes. I think I showed it another day, which is Max Brenner's place, uh, but he's not allowed to use his name anymore, which I think is sort of funny. But it was a whole legal thing apparently. Mm. If you ever get a chance to try um, the cacao fruit as a drink, it's fabulous. He also sells it as um, like an apple saucy kind of thing. Expensive as anything, but it's worth it to do it once. Um, yeah, it's really good if you don't get every a chance to try the pulp from the inside. Okay, so that's it. The other thing I want to tell you about is my class. I'm doing the this class that I teach all over St. Louis um, on Facebook. Well, not Facebook, Zoom, because there are still people who are signing up and paying for it because I'm in some different catalogs. So I'm doing it, I'm breaking it down into five sections. I've done Monday and Tuesday. I can sort of catch up real quick. Um, I'm gonna do it Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday too. Um, but it's nice. Um, sorry, just got a text about the latest from Illinois. Um, okay, so it's, it's fun because first of all, it gives me something to do. And also, it's it's really informative. It's not about the cocoa exchange. It's really about the history of chocolate and things like that. And yes, nice things about Hershey and that. Um, so please feel free to join that. Join that. I thank you guys for watching these. Um, they're sort of helping keep me a little sane by having something to prepare for and do every day. Uh, quite honestly, I the last day or so, no, probably just since about last night, I've really sort of been getting down. Um, so after this, I'm not doing a whole long cooking thing today. I'm doing a quick recipe because after this, I'm gonna go out and walk because that always um, takes me out of the dumps a little bit. And I'm gonna go do what I keep telling you guys to do, Insight Timer. I'm gonna do a quick meditation on that. Although they have meditations from pretty much five minutes to an hour. So um, go do those, those are great. Um, I also took a little bit of a Facebook break today. I've been posting stuff, and um, if people tag me and stuff, I'll comment. But um, I, I don't know. I got really upset with something a friend posted today, and I'm really tired of the fact that people are using this um, for political things to either defend. Um, well, I don't want to get into that, but um, I have somebody basically on the front lines and our government really isn't helping so much. Although Mike's in Illinois and Pritzker, thank God for Pritzker because he is doing it, but it's really not gonna matter because if we're not all in this together, then it's just gonna, it's it's not good. Um, so I am taking a pretty decent Facebook break. So if I don't answer you on something like that, um, you'll understand. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna make a quick guacamole. Um, I don't know if you guys know, oh, you know what, I should just put this down. You don't need to see my face. Um, whoops, there's all my little notes though. Okay, so take a knife and just like go around in a circle and you twist it to open. Oh, I did a really bad job at this. And then to get it out, I usually take a really big knife, but a little one will work too. Take the seed out. And for this, all you gotta do is take a spoon. I see them selling all these things. Um, online and I'm like you don't really need it all you gotta do is just have a spoon and a knife whoops okay there's one we're gonna make some guacamole today here I already went around this one so I'll pull it out um, and it's so easy so good and you know you adjust it of course as usual the way you like to do anything um, Okay, get all the guacamole, or all the avocado out. Um, and this is a nice treat. You know, if you've been sitting around something nice and, you know, the guacamole is a little healthy for you. Okay, so here's another thing I've got to show you guys. One of the greatest inventions on earth is um, 
uh, from Pampered Chef. It's, they, there's, here, I don't like that piece in there. Um, there's, it's supposed to be to like chop up meat when it's browning, but um, I say it's a great guacamole maker. Mm -hmm. Hope you can still hear me over my dog going nuts. And I like to have the guacamole chunky. So we're gonna do that. I see another little piece I don't like. Um, okay, then all we gotta do is add, whoa, a little bit of Mexican seasoning. And again, you do this to taste. Um, and then a little bit of our everyday blend or the garden herb, let's see. Let's go with everyday blend. Now let's do garden herb because I don't have any tomatoes to add to this. So this will get a little bit more vegetables in. And again, you know, it's the same old thing. Just learn to adapt and adjust. I'm actually hopefully going to go out to the grocery in a little while for the first time in over a week. Um, okay, then lemon juice. You do not want to add this much lemon juice, but I like could drink lemon juice. Love it. We'll do that. And I'm not going to forget the green chili hot sauce like I did yesterday. Look, just splattered that all over me. Okay, then we're going to add some green chili hot sauce. And again, adjust it to your taste. I am sure this is going to be too spicy for me, but luckily... Josh will be thrilled. And there you go. You got your guacamole. Um, and if you don't like it as chunky, go ahead and chop it up more. But I like it chunky. Um, okay. So what else? Please, let me see. Oh, don't forget, there are people whose businesses are really majorly affected by this. Travel agents. I've got a couple of really great ones. My friend Linda O'Brien. Um, you know, this is totally... <sighs> I can't mute Hub. I wish I could. Um, uh, my friend Linda O'Brien, you know, everyone's canceling everything, and who knows when it's going to be the best to go back. My friend uh, Wendy Fitter is a party and event planner and stuff. Well, the events are canceling, so um, think about events you could have in the future and reach out to her. Um, people who do swag, you know, different things with your... I'm trying to see if I have anything here. I don't. Uh, different things that your company gets printed. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be such a great thing for uh, when people come back to have something? I've got Larry Tesler and Judy Meyer who both do that. They're fabulous at it. White box catering. Um, I'm ordering, I ordered again from them today. In fact, my sister ordered from them too. Great food, so easy, and it's supporting a young entrepreneur who is struggling right now. Um, let me think where else I wanted to send you. Uh, you know, the more down I get, the more I try and do for others because that's what makes me feel good. So I'm like sending out stuff to people um, I from White Box Catering. I got a, a some of her cinnamon rolls, which are to die for, the best thing I'll ever taste. So I got a few tins of that, and I'm going to give it out to some neighbors or stuff. Um, but try and do nice things for people. Of course, I'm worried. Most of you know... Um, that Mike is in Chicago at a hospital. And uh, of course I'm worried, but if I sit around thinking about it, I get more worried. So that's when I start to do nice things. Um, well, no, I, I, I like to always do nice things, but um, the more the more worried I get, the more <laughs> I like trying to do. So right now, pretty much that's all I'm doing is things. Um, for the people who are home with their kids, uh, I feel for you. <laughs> I used to be a teacher. Now I bet everyone's going to appreciate teachers, right? But don't, you know, for myself, I'm trying not to put too much pressure on and um, do self-care, give myself a break. And I want to tell you that same thing for parents who are home teaching. Give yourself a break. You don't have to be the most perfect teacher. You just have to like get through the day with them and stuff. Um, for homeschooling, let the kids, here's a great thing that you can do. Um, have, if you have a couple of kids at home, tell them to, to ask their favorite thing. If it's about baseball, say, okay, this is great. For baseball, I want you to um, do a whole report on the history of baseball 
and you're gonna teach it to your sibling. Or if you don't have siblings home, say, how about teaching it to me? I don't know this, you could really teach me something. So find something they love and have them do that. So that would be a great thing. And also, by all means, start the kids on Insight Timer when they're young. If all of our kids learned how to meditate when they were in grade school, people would be a lot more calm. And again, like I said, don't forget the people who are out there. I've got um, Norwex people, I've got Mary Kay people, I've got Arbonne people, I've got all kinds of people who I could connect you with whose companies are still shipping and everything. Our 50% sale ends today. I hope everybody has stocked up on all of their um, all of their cooking things because I will send you out all kinds of different things you can cook with because it's, um, you know, it's something else to do to keep you busy. Oh, don't forget the Pampered Chef pretzel kits. Ugh, those should be hitting my family soon. We'll see what they all say about them. And most importantly, be kind to one another. We have to like get through this without like going after people or anything like that. We have to pull together. If you didn't see it today, um, uh, Governor Cuomo in New York, this was like one of the things that made me so happy. He put out a call for all the doctors and my sister was telling me this. I said, doctors everywhere are swamped. He said, we need help. We need medical staff, we need supplies and blah, blah, blah. Southwest offered to fly any medical staff for free to New York and they got 75,000 volunteers. I freaked out because I don't, I mean, I guess it hasn't hit hard other places yet. But to me, that is like what this is all about, helping others because that's the only way you like survive. So I um, hope I didn't get too preachy, but I'm like sort of feeling, I don't know, I don't wanna say weepy, but whatever. I'm feeling a little uh, down today, so I'm doing a short one and I'm gonna go do some self-care, take a walk and meditate. Thanks, mm -hmm. bye.